Welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thanks so much for joining me. Now, today I wanted to talk about anger as a healing energy. Is anger really all that bad? That's what I wanted to explore today. And do you know what? I don't think anger is a bad energy at all. I think because of society's conditioning, because of cultural conditioning, sometimes because of family conditioning, all kinds of different reasons. Anger has a bit of a bad reputation. I think a lot of people are frightened of anger. And to me, it's the fear of anger that makes anger a lot worse. And that to me, it's the fear of anger that makes anger a dangerous energy. Otherwise, it's actually quite pure and it's actually an immobilizing force. As an astrologer, I spend a lot of time looking at charts and one of the things that I look at is, yes, when I'm looking at planetary energies, I'm also looking at the elements that are represented by these planets. And to me, anger is a lot like fire. Anger is fire energy. It's immobilizing. And, and you think about fire. Fire is this upward sort of energy, right? It, it's, it's, it, it goes up. And that is exactly what pure anger does. It immobilizes you. It lifts you. It lifts you out of a bad situation. So what do I mean by this? So let's say about three weeks ago, two or three weeks ago, I think it was, I had quite a bit of a bout of anger. I'd just been to a workshop by um, a brilliant coach who I really love and admire and learn so much from. And, you know, I'm always attending coaching things and, you know, I help people, but, you know, I'm constantly working on myself as well. And I, it's, it's just fun for me. My planets are arranged that way. Um, I went to this healing day and, and it was fantastic. Something got um, lodged inside of me and I came back home and I felt this beautiful anger. And I say that it's beautiful anger because I wasn't afraid of it. I wasn't afraid of this anger at all. I uh, came back to the safe space of my apartment and I was able to feel the energy and I was able to almost enjoy it in a weird kind of way. I put on some uh, Aretha Franklin. I was dancing. I could, I could feel the energy. It was just phenomenal. And what the experience showed me, because I observed it very acutely and intensely, I, I observed exactly what was going on. I wasn't frightened of it. And what I discovered was that it's an upward energy so if you're in a hole, right, and if you're depressed and if you're down, anger is this kind of fiery energy that lifts you out and it brings you up. It's a vertical energy as well, okay? And when you're up here, you're actually able to look down with some compassion at the people that you may have perceived were causing the situation, though they probably weren't the cause, but that's another video for another time. But basically, when anger is operating well, that, that's kind of what it does. It, it lifts you out of a bad situation. You, you realize things. You, fire is destructive, right? It, it burns things up. It burns the residue of the old, okay? So whatever structures or whatever was creating that hole or keeping you down, that burns up and you lift out of it. It's quite fantastic. And if we look at it from a Vedic astrology perspective, I'm just going to get my little whiteboard thingy here and I'm going to draw a diagram of um, where this stuff is in the chart. So we've got houses one, five, I'm going to put a little F for fire. Fire energies are here. Uh, and what other energies do we have? So this is first house of Aries, fifth house of Leo, and the ninth house of Sagittarius. And when it comes to fire, 
and you look at what's happening with these houses, you look at what's happening in these areas, what's going on here? Well, for me, you know, it's the sense of self, it's creativity and passion in a big way in that fifth house there. And it's very much intelligence uh, and I would say kind of purpose and, and life goals as well in the ninth house there. I'm going to include that for today. Uh, I don't always particularly look to um, look to the ninth house for life goals, but I'm just just for today, just for today only. It's a one day special. Uh, but 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 that's what got me thinking about what is fire. One of the things I wrote down is that yes, anger or anger is like fire, or fire is like anger. And to me, anger is linked to passion. It is linked to creativity. It is linked to excitement. And I can see that in the chart. You know, I can see that very easily. Um, anger is not a bad energy at all. It's when you're afraid of your anger, that's where the problems are. Okay, and people do become afraid of their anger. And Fear, one of the things I jotted down on my notes this morning was that fear is like petrol on the fire that is anger, okay? That's where it becomes out of control and we don't like that. We don't want to be out of control, okay? And, and that's where the fear is coming from when it comes to anger. People don't want to experience anger. They're afraid of it because they're afraid of going out of control and when I started thinking about that I started thinking about okay what's this out of control thing where is that in the charts and that's where I came to water so I'm going to put a W for water and do you know what I'm actually going to I'm going to put them all in here we've got water which is the 12th house of Pisces we've got the fourth house of Cancer and we've got the eighth house of Scorpio and if you think about these areas, and when I think about these areas, definitely with the 12th house, um, what was I? I don't know if I wrote my notes. No, I didn't. But, but basically, so I'm going to have to think. I didn't write notes. I'm going to have to think. Oh, my God. Um, out of control. So where were we? We were talking about, yes, anger, you're afraid of going out of control. And that's what got me to thinking about boundaries. And that's what got me thinking about Pisces. And that's what got me thinking about water. And when I started thinking about water, then I thought about, of course, Cancer and Scorpio as well. And you think about it. I mean, boundaries. Okay, we've got no boundaries here, right? This is the home of zero boundaries. All is one. Uh, then we've got, for me, this is a very much a still waters runs deep. We do not know how deep. That's Scorpio. There's no depth here, I think, uh, and that can be very scary for some people. I find it fascinating, but anyway. Um, and then, of course, we've got the fourth house here, which is Cancer. And whenever I think of Cancer, I always think that I always think of this, um, the ocean of emotion, you know, and this boundless ocean of emotion. You know, that's very much what I think about here. And I mean, if we look, what have we got? We've got earth, left, earth, and this is earth. And what's the other one we've got? We've got air, air signs here. And, you know, it's really interesting because, um, so the thinking that I came to, when I thought of the out of control, that's when I got to water. And then after I thought about that, I kind of remembered some of the Western astrology books that I'd read years ago before I got into the Vedic system. And, and the Vedic system is, you know, we are learning, yes, we are learning similar things, but in a very different way. Um, but I remember when I was learning the Western astrology and they talked about the fact that fire and water signs in a couple situation don't really go well together. And I thought, well, yeah, actually that kind of, that kind of makes sense with my thinking here today. Um, the fact that, you know, fire signs, probably don't don't like to be out of control as such or there might be a fear of that which got me thinking about the remedies before I get to the remedies though I would like to say this this point about um, 
fire being, so let's say you're in a hole and the fire is designed to immobilize you. It's, it's designed to get you to lift out of whatever problem you're in. That's the correct way. When, when I had that anger a couple of weeks ago and I was dancing to Aretha Franklin and feeling fantastic, um, I, was, I was shaking off old things and I was shaking off old structures and I was feeling like me and I did get that lift and I was able to look down and see any people that I perceived as having contributed to the whole or the situation or whatever. I, I could see them in a compassionate way. I do, I do feel that like I had a pure experience of anger in that instance. Um, so it's not a bad energy. What I, what I also wanted to say on that point is that, that that is the correct way to go with anger. One, one thing you don't want is you don't want it to be a horizontal energy, okay? So you don't want to be giving it to someone. You don't want to be shooting off an email or um, picking up a phone or sending a text or talking to someone or punching someone or shooting a bullet. That's not great. And I think that that kind of thing tends to happen when the petrol, the fear, is present with the anger. Uh, that is something I definitely experienced there. But yeah, I mean, a remedy for um, if you are experiencing anger or if anger is an issue for you or if it's something that uh, you don't like and look, no one likes it. I think I was afraid of my own anger for a long time, which is probably why it went unexpressed for a very long time and I was out of touch with it. Um, now, of course, doing the work that I do and being in touch with lots of everything and, you know, uh, it's a different situation for me, but I, I definitely remember the times when um, when I was numb and when things were repressed and when things were unknown to me, uh, you know, but now that's definitely not the case. But where was I going with that? Yes, I wanted to talk about what happens in this situation astrologically. Yeah, I mean, look, astrologically is there so can we see this in a chart can we see the likelihood of an angry person in a chart for example um again i don't want to just kind of say oh yes it's mars rahu conjunct i mean mars rahu conjunct they kind of like to fight you know what i mean um mars ketu conjunct i wouldn't want to fight them uh you know there there are certain placements uh and you know you put yeah, I mean, I suppose you put something fiery in a water sign and, and it will become problematic. You can have water afflictions. What's the advice I can give here? I think the, the remedy for any of all of this is, is really pretty simple. I would say, if you can, put some music on and start dancing. And I do pronounce dancing, dancing, because I'm Australian. <laughs> I live in the UK and, and sometimes when I say the word dancing amongst my British friends, I get a couple of giggles. But um, if you can't shake it off through physical exercise, going for a run is great. Dancing is great. Um, doing anything outdoorsy is great. Sometimes, I mean, I, I try to give things to Mother Earth through my feet uh, you know, as I walk, I have a little chat with Mother Earth and I say, look, this is too big for me. Can you take it? Um, sitting with a tree, putting, you know, putting your back against a tree and asking the tree to take it. You know, they take our carbon dioxide and believe it or not, they take some of the toxic frequencies that we hold within our energy fields as well. Trees are absolutely amazing. So you can definitely spend time with trees, uh, if that's something that you like doing. I know I've hugged a lot of trees in my time. I've got a couple of good tree friends out the window up that way. Um, a really terrific thing to do, though, is can you spend time by a large body of water? To me, that's the ultimate. That is the ultimate cure. Can, can you get away for a weekend? Can you spend a night by a large body of water? 
uh, I know for me it's pretty easy I can just go one hour in that direction and uh, I hit a very large ocean and that's a very good thing uh, and I have done that on occasions where I have experienced anger I, I went one time in the rain one evening and and to the ocean and I got pretty drenched but I I was thoroughly cleaned of, of whatever was troubling me it, it was incredible so if you need a remedy for how to deal with anger then I would say do spend time in nature the other thing is though recognize that the anger is asking you to immobilize it's asking for liftoff you know creativity um, it's asking for something from you it's asking for more it's asking for you to break out of some old structure and lift off and if you can do that then the anger has served its purpose so I wanted to thank you for stopping by to the channel today I wanted to thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and you'll be able to see more content like this. If you have any questions about your chart or coaching topics or anything that you'd like to know, then the email address will be, I think, at the end of this video. If not, it'll be in the description below. So thanks for stopping by and I'll see you next time.